Okay, so let's look at on the buttons in Swift UI. Again, I will open new group and name it buttons. And we can drag to under navigation link like this and open new file in the buttons folder. And select Swift UI view, click next, write buttons view. So in Swift UI, we have a regular button and also you can redesign for yourself custom buttons. So let's start with a regular button. So open new VStack. We will make on inside this VStack our buttons. First button, it is regular simple button. So write regular button. Okay, you can see there is a simple button. Inside this button, if you want to add actions, for example, you have a function or any action you want to do when clicked on this button. So you should write inside button. For example, I will return a print, press regular button. When you click on it, let's display our debug console. I will again click on it. You can see it says press regular button, right? Okay, that's great. So let's make another button that is same button, but you can display in another way called action and label. So click on it. You can see we have two different area to display our button. First one, it is for a print for actions for code and label for displaying the UI of the button. Second regular button because it is by Swift UI, it's not a custom, we not designed, right? So let's display a label. So in here we just write a text, right? With a string. But in label, you should write your text with text object like this and write second regular button. You can also display an image. So also let's display it. Go top of the text and write image. So for now, I don't have an image inside my Xcode project. I will display an icon with a system name. So let's write house, for example. You can see, let's zoom on it. We have a house icon. You can also click on it, right? And also we display print inside our console. Uh, let's add some spacing between buttons with adding spacing to vstack. Let's add 20 and delete content. Okay, now it's better. Also, we can change regular button to an image button because the difference now we can see it is has an image, image button. So when we click on it, now we see image button on debug console. So let's make custom button. So write button again and open action and label, print custom style button. And in label, again, open new text, display custom style button. So under text, write dot. And first let's give an font, for example, headline. You can see it's made bold and you can change the text color with foreground color. For example, let's make it black. Okay. Also, you can add a background color. For example, let's add brown. Okay. And let's change foreground color to white. I think with background brown, that will be good if we make a white text. And let's add a padding to display better. Yes, it looks better. And we can make it smaller. Also, you can add a corner radius. Let's make 10. That looks better, right? So when you click on it, it says custom style button. Okay, we have another button. Let's display on it. Open button again and action. We have another button called disabled. You can make disabled button. Like you can't click on it. Just you can display it. So we can copy this custom style button and we can redesign more. Yes, we can add true disable true and if you see we can't click on it and let's redesign more 
disabled for example background gray and now it is better and we can delete corner radius to be different with custom like this so we can't click on it also you can add opacity 0.5 maybe we can change to 7 yeah it's better okay lastly we have loading button so let's open new button here copy this custom text button and delete this code okay so make corner radius 5 and make blue background this one so let's change this to loading button and also I forgot to change custom style button on disabled let's write disabled button okay so let's make this button loading button when the user click on it we should see loading progress so for this go top and add new state variable right state and also make it private var is loading equal to by default it should be false when user clicked on it we will make it true so go to button is loading make it true and we make after two second go back to false we will add a time to set after two second show the button again so here first of all deadline from now to two seconds after two seconds replace is loading true to false again replace this dispatch time to dispatch queue if you want to show loading we should add progress view so first let's check is loading true or false so right if is loading and if it's true show progress view that is loading progress view made by SwiftUI we will display on it and also make else if it's not true is it false show the text loading button right so let's test it click on loading button you can see loading and again loading button so again let's test on it click the loading button you can see progress view and loading button okay so it works great also you can add for example when it's progress view we can't click we can make it disabled when it's loading so add disabled and is loading that will be changed if it's false we can click on it but if it's showing progress view it will be true and it's a disabled button so let's try yeah we can't click on progress view okay that's great it works perfectly that was the buttons in swift ui